This otherwise indicated all the following scripture quotations are taken from the Holy Bible New Living Translation, was copied at the Tyndale House Foundation, used by permission of Tyndale House Publishers, all rights reserved. So I did a Mike Todd video yesterday, and as you probably know, he didn't quite rub me the right way. So I figured, let me just put together some facts from the Bible about what it means to actually be the head of the home. Check it out. Hi, I'm PG Bai. Welcome to my channel, and this is a mini applause for you. Why do you get a mini applause? Because you are quite simply amazing, and because you made it through yesterday and through today. And since I have faith that you're gonna make it through to tomorrow, why don't you just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when I post another video? Alrighty, tighty. So as we get into it, we are going to start by looking at Ephesians 5, verse 23, which is really where the whole head of the home thing kind of starts. Let's go. So Ephesians 5 verse 23 says, For a husband is the head of his wife, as Christ is the head of the church. He is the saviour of his body, the church. So what does it mean to be the head of the home? Aside from being in charge, it means to be a leader, it means to be responsible, especially when things go south. It means to set an example, to lead, to motivate, it means to empower, it means to make provision for, to care for, to understand, to protect, to be passionate about or to love. It also means to promote fairness, justice and equality. It means to do the right thing even when no one else is watching, which is basically displaying integrity and yeah. That's what it means to be the head of the home. So essentially what I think it's saying is that it means that, that as the head of the home, you are far more responsible for things that are happening in your home than you potentially think. A lot of people think this is about control, but it's actually about accountability and responsibility. So men, as the head of your home, you are far more, exponentially more responsible in God's eyes for the state and welfare of your family. What does it not mean, however? It, mean, it doesn't mean that you can abuse people under your care. It does not mean that you can exert your power over others. It doesn't mean that you can abandon your responsibilities by ordering others around. And it doesn't mean you can control other people. It doesn't mean you can neglect your family and duties. It does not mean that you can break your family down with scare tactics, bullying, insults, or any other types of abuse. Okay, so if you are the head of the home, right? What is a woman's responsibility? So we're going to take a look at Ephesians 5 verse 21 to 24 which says And further submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. For wives this means submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For a husband is the head of his wife as Christ is the head of the church. He is the saviour of his body the church. As the church submits to Christ, so you wives should submit to your husbands in everything. Notice it says to submit to each other first, but anyways, let's take a look at what a woman's responsibility is. Essentially, a woman's responsibility is basically just to submit to you as she submits to the Lord, right? And the last part of the scripture says, as the church submits to Christ, so she should submit to you in everything. But we'll come back to that in a second. If you're reading the notes on the screen, bingo, right there. Okay, so though technically women have like a lot less to do than men have to do, um, women kind of just have to submit to men. And I know that the everything part sounds bad, but here's the main clincher. It's not like everything, 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 everywhere, right? It's everything spiritually. Men, that's where your authority lies, right? And we're going to take actually a look at putting the scripture in context in a second, because the context is actually important. Okay, so the scriptures mean here that if you are a man in a marriage covenant, not dating, you are responsible to the Lord for your wife and family's spiritual growth, protection against the enemy, holding up their confidence in the spiritual, leading your family with messages from God, prayer time, reading the Bible, etc. That's a whole bunch of responsibilities. Okay, just to clarify, this does not mean that your wife has to stop or your partner has to stop doing these things in her own spiritual life, right? The, the thing is that 
you are responsible for those things and God is going to hold you accountable. So I was figuring, who do we look at as the best example for leadership? Who, do, who could a man look to, to be the best example as the head of the home? And in the scriptures, it says that Christ was the head of the church. So let's look at Christ's example of leadership. Christ gave his life for the church. Christ provided for the church by like healing the sick and providing food. Think the feeding of the 5,000. He motivated people away from religion and into a relationship with God. He encouraged people to be independent and not to just trust what the teachers at the time were telling them about God, but to take their salvation into their own hands, right? He encouraged them to ask questions and to spend time together. He was always gathered in large groups and he did not come to control them. Remember, he came as the Prince of Peace and not a King of War. So, if you are the head of your home, you might be wondering, how do I lead like Christ led the church? How do I do that in my own home? Well, the answer is through humility. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. He likened the way to the kingdom of heaven through being humble and pure like a child. He said it would be hard for the rich to enter heaven, probably because wealth and wealthy people are associated with ego and pride. Jesus became man, humbling himself to God's plan, again which speaks about his humility. He came to do God's will and not his own. And he said in Matthew 23 verse 11 and 12, The greatest among you must be a servant, but those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Okay, so now you see that the true key to being a leader in your home, to being the head of the household, is actually through humility to God and to humbling yourself to your family. And so it's not something that can be taken or done through force or through coercion or anything. It's actually through this humility and through serving others that you be the proper head of the home and let's not forget that this does not apply to people that are not married because the scriptures said married we talk about husbands and wives so it's got nothing to do with single people so don't come at me with that single people stuff and i would love to know what you've got to think or what you've got to say in the comment section and please stay tuned for your scripture of the day your scripture of the day comes from John 13 verse 3 which says Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. Okay, so our scripture of the day is reiterating that it's not about who is in control as in is a man in control or is a female in control. It's God is always in control. God has the authority. And we need to remember that when we interact with each other, irrespective of what your role is in your family, whether you are the head of the home or whether you are the wife or whether you are the children in the home, we all need to submit under God's authority. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. I would love to hear what you think. Uh, please let me know in the comments and also please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Please enjoy your evening further because you deserve it. Bye!